discuss about the starting methods of synchronous motor so all of you know that synchronous motor is not a self start motor it is not self start motor so that's why we need some methods to some methods to starting the synchronous motor synchronous motor having uh, some good advantages like constant speed and low power low torque low power applications but it is not self starting that's why we should use some starting methods to start the synchronous motor so the, those are first method is auxiliary motor starting by using the dc motor induction motor or pony motor auxiliary means we are using some support we are using some support of motor uh, by that we will put into the starting starting position then we will remove the motor that is the auxiliary motors may be the dc motor or the induction motor or the pony motor second induction or damper winding starting method so we are using induction or damper winding this is a second method third method synchronous induction motor starting method so this is also one of the method so we have the three types of methods we will deeply discuss about these methods first method first method is auxiliary motor starting method so name itself we are using some auxiliary motor by that we will put into the synchronism then it will rotates so just observe here this is the synchronous motor this motor is connected to the grid here this is the grid and this motor rotor is connected to the rotor of the auxiliary motor rotor of the auxiliary motor and just look at here this is the rotor winding rotor winding given by dc excitation by the circuit by this circuit okay so we'll discuss here just look at here keep synchronous motor at synchronous speed by using the auxiliary motor to make inertia e zero so generally the main reason for the uh, synchronous motor is not a self starting motor is inertia it has high inertia so we want to make it the inertia zero so by using this auxiliary motor we will put, we will rotate this rotor by synchronous speed whenever it rotor rotates the synchronous speed then the inertia will become zero inertia will become the zero second by applying field current to the rotor the rotor poles are formed then rotor is synchronized first we will first thing first thing we will put into the first thing we will put into the synchronous speed initially then we will apply the dc excitation so then the rotor poles will be formed this is the north pole and this is the south pole the poles will be formed so then whenever the poles are formed then automatically rotor will become the synchronization then when giving the excitation these poles will be north pole and south pole and this has the excitation next synchronize and with starter flux by magnetic locking so this method is done by magnetic locking that means so here stator have the north pole and south pole like this then rotor is also north pole and rotor is also north pole and south pole like this so then this is north pole and the south pole the magnetic locking will be done here because this, this is repulsive generally it is at uh, attractive position that should be done third r is to be keep the safe save the insulation of the resistor so just look at here here we have the resistor r is there it is useful for to make the insulation in safe position right after starting the motor after starting the motor 
the supply to the auxiliary motor is disconnected okay simply so by using this auxiliary motor it will rotate by using this auxiliary mo motor it will rotates generally so after that synchronous speed this auxiliary motor supply will be off by the switches this will be off okay so if it is a dc motor if it is a dc motor the same can be used to dc generator to excite the field of the synchronous motor for example if it is a dc motor the field we have the field is there the same field is used for the field of synchronous motor also so if it is a dc generator or dc generator is used for excite the motor so for excitation that means we are using the same excitation method next pony motor is a small induction motor with two poles less than the number of poles of synchronous motor so here the auxiliary motor may be two types one is the dc motor another one is the pony motor so we have a difference between the dc motor and the pony motor the pony motor is small induction motor just a small rating of induction motor and this pony motor poles is generally synchronous motor poles minus 2 is there minus 2 is there so this is about auxiliary motor starting method okay next induction or damper winding starting we have another method that method is induction or damper winding method so in that just look at here with respect to damper windings the rotor behaves as screw ligage induction motor so here generally we have the damper windings are available like this so this is the construction for example if it is a two pole damper windings are connect available at the rotor poles so these are the damper windings available at the rotor poles okay. whenever supply is given it behaves like a screw gauge induction motor so it behaves like a screw gauge induction motor right right when the supply is given to the motor started like an induction motor generally it is a synchronous motor when supply is given then automatically it will be work as a induction motor it will be worked as a induction motor and reaches to synchronous speed so that inertia reduces to zero same thing same thing here also so by using this supply generally it will rotates the speed will reaches to synchronous speed and uh, whenever it reaches to synchronous speed this inertia will become the zero okay right next when dc excitation is given then the rotor poles are formed same concept same as the auxiliary motor concept here also dc supply is given then the poles will be formed they pulled into the synchronism with the stator poles so whenever supply is given same concept stator poles are rot stator poles are always rotates with the synchronous speed stator poles as rotates with the synchronous speed same these rotor poles also rotates with the <laughs> rotates with the synchronous speed <laughs> due to the pulling torque from then on there onwards so what is the reason the reason is the pull in torque the reason is the pull in torque so it will rotates okay next the rotor rotates only at synchronous speed due to the magnetic locking so what is the rotor rotation we have it is a very important point that important point is only rotor rotate at synchronous speed due to the magnetic locking so same principle that means stator flux is rotates with the synchronous speed due to the magnetic locking rotor also rotates with the synchronous speed this is the concept okay so this is about two different methods 
of the starting of the synchronous motor so in this we are discussed the auxiliary starting motor auxiliary motor starting the second method is induction or damper winding starting method okay i hope all of you un understand the session thank you